Hello everyone, welcome to Obet Sojun Cooks. Today we'll be making party jello fries, homemade party jello fries using small grain rice. Small grain rice is not easy to make jello fries and today you'll be seeing how I make my jello fries, delicious jello fries using small grain rice and it doesn't mash up so follow me as we cook it. Kindly ignore my cracked voice, just follow me as we cook these jello fries. First we wash the rice, we wash it thoroughly, removing as much starch as we possibly can. This will ensure that the rice does not stick together when cooked. So I add a little salt to my rice and wash, I scrub between my palm, wash, wash, wash. Just keep washing and straining until the water is clear. Then you set your washed rice aside. Do not leave in water. Drain the water and set aside. One of the key ingredients of the delicious Nigerian party jollof rice is the aroma and the flavor infused in the oil we use in making your rice. So we start with by frying our beef or chicken. In this video, I'll be making some, um, I'll call it beef kebab, <laughs> was well, just for my family's consumption. So I have some cooked beef. I'll be sticking on the kebab sticks. I'll be frying in the pan alongside the beef. When the beef is fried enough, remove the beef and set the oil aside. Now let's list our ingredients for the jello fries. We have tomato paste, sliced onions, some meat stock, pepper mix granite oil salt and seasoning cubes here I have curry, bay leaf, thyme and a mixture of ginger and garlic and of course my washed rice So here I set my pot on the cooker and then I pour in my strained oil, the one I used in frying the beef. The aroma and the flavor of the beef, fried beef infused in it. Then next I add my tomato paste. And my sliced onion. Kindly follow through till the end. Watch till the end. It's just a 10 minute video, so then I will share my tip with you. Thank you. Now I'm going to fry my onion and tomato paste on medium high heat until the tomato paste looks grainy. That's it, it it's no longer lumpy, it, it doesn't look like a paste anymore. And then the onion is tender. This will bring out the sweetness in the tomato paste. Next, I pour in my pepper mix. Um, I should state here, my pepper mix was directly from the freezer. I just microwaved it a little so it's not thick. 
so but ideally you should use a thick well cooked to me, um, pepper mix so next I pour in my seasonings mix together and then allow to fry Mix this occasionally to avoid burning. When it's fried, I introduce my meat stock, then a little bit of water. If you are not sure of how much water your rice would take, I'm used to this rice. This is a rice I eat every day. So I know how much water it requires to cook. But ideally, you should introduce your rice in the pepper mix, in the fried pepper, before adding water. Do you understand? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So after adding your rice, just mix a little, mix thoroughly and then we cover and trap the heat with foil paper, aluminium foil, then cover with a lid. After cooking for about 10 minutes on medium high heat, the water and oil would have come to the top the surface of the rice so what you need to do now is just use your spatula or your spoon please note do not use an iron spoon in making jello fries use a wooden spatula or a non-stick silicon spoon which is what I'm using here after doing this cover it up again tightly well sealed aluminium foil will help trap in the moisture your rice does not require so much water you're not boiling the rice Jello fries is meant to be fried cooked if there's something like that. So when the rice is cooked a little bit, I mean you can still see some rice look a bit white. That means it's cooked but not totally cooked. Introduce your onions. I don't have fresh tomatoes at home. All my tomatoes are frozen and that is why I'm not adding fresh tomatoes at this time. But usually you should add on onions and tomatoes carrots if you have green peas if you have um, kidney beans yes add it at this moment when the rice is almost done stir a little stir it in a little bit without getting to the bottom of the pot and then you cover again with your aluminium foil and lid so we cook for another five minutes And then you can see here that the rice is cooked each grain of the rice is standing on its own it looks like it's molded together because of the, the type of spoon I'm using to pack or to stir the rice right now and voila our yummy patty rice made at home is ready for consumption If you've been wondering how to make jollof rice with your small grain rice that doesn't stick together and is very delicious, try this recipe and let me know how, how it turns out in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Kindly like this video and subscribe. Also click on the notification bell for more interesting and educative videos that I post here. Okay, here goes my tip. Once you're done cooking your rice, just turn off the heat, cover the pot, and allow your rice to rest. Don't eat your rice immediately. This will help the rice to absorb more flavor, more aroma, and more taste. It will be more delicious. You know that next day jello fries that we all love? You can have it immediately. Thank you very much.